Cool. Uh, cool. Uh, 784, uh, letter case permutation. Uh, given a string S, we can transform every letter individually to be lowercase or uppercase to create another string. We turn a list of all possible strings we could create. Okay, cool. Uh, letters or digits, okay. I mean, you could do this with... Um, I mean, this is... I mean, I guess... I, don't, I actually don't know what the expectation is for users anyway. But yeah, for for number 12, you know, the first thing that you... Uh, like, for n is equal to 12, the first thing you can think about is just like, well, there's going to be at most 2 to the 12 strings, uh, so that's okay to do brute force, and that's that's it, right? Just, I mean, I think that's all. Um, uh, so we're just going to do brute force. Uh, I think they're actually, uh, I mean, I think you could definitely uh, uh, do something like, and probably to be more optimal, you would do something like, uh, uh, branch and bound type thing, so that because so that you don't have to recurse on numbers. But I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna create a set and <laughs> do it the lazy way. Um, but uh, yeah. oh, and by that I mean I'm just gonna do all two to the twelve permutation, no matter what, even if. We have numbers, and then just use the set to sort it out, which is definitely slower, but but um, but in theory, uh, it is faster to type. Uh, so that's what I've been optimizing for a little bit. Some, uh, which I don't recommend an interview, but I'll, I'll talk about that after I actually get it done first. So, um, uh, and here I am using bitmask, even though I. Made fun of people using bitmask just earlier, so. <laughs> um. Nope. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do need, or actually, most of these parents because of the order of operation with bitwise operators, so. Um. Is it too lower? I always forget how to uh, just look at Python real quick. It's, it's like too lower, just lower. Okay. Just upper. Hmm. Oh, whoops, I meant J. J as in just kidding. <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry, I was just moving my iPad so I could see people's comments a little quicker. There we go. Uh... Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, the slow time is not surprising because I don't, I don't, uh, uh, I, it, I definitely did this the most, probably the most inefficient way possible, but though it still has the same uh, uh, time complexity, but not space. <laughs> uh, well, actually, space complexity as well a little bit. Well, it's the same complexity, but the constant is higher than all of them, so I'm not surprised. But, uh, but I'm also happy that it, it runs because uh, that would be a little sad actually. But, time limits out but yeah but um but yeah I, mean, I think this goes back a little bit to what i eh, so yeah during an interview i probably don't recommend this i would probably actually recommend uh doing a uh essentially like a depth of search or just recursion and and only branch out if you have a uh have a number i mean have a have a, a character uh but here i was just being a little bit lazy uh maybe like a little bit in the spirit of competitive programming since i've been try playing around with that a little bit more um where this is a very tight, you know, six, seven, eight, like nine lines of code. Um, 
so like you know i'm not gonna make that many mistakes so i you know i know i just said that but then you know you were paying attention i actually had the wrong index here uh but thankfully that got caught out uh very quickly um but yeah uh but it's just that you know i've written the, also some of that is i've written this code probably like thousands of times so i'm co more confident about it and that allows me to kind of get it done very quickly and i started I mean, I don't know how long I've been talking about this problem, but I probably finished this within like four or five minutes, which is probably uh, kind of good. But yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I I think the bit mask uh, is just a little bit like uh, in Python. It's not. It's really not Pythonic. I think in general, because uh, I think. Well, I mean that's it. I mean it's not Pythonic in general, so it's not a. Yeah, <laughs> uh, usually I probably should have. I don't know, to keep things Pythonic, I would, should have converted to C++ or something. But yeah, but the idea here is that, um, you know, there's two to the n possibilities. So then for each one, uh, you can look at each, num each number as say, you have, oops, you have some like binary number. Uh, and then for each index, uh, we look at, hmm, I guess I should do it the other way. Uh, for each index, we look at it. And if, if it's a one on that, um, if there's a one in that category, uh, in that uh, bit, uh, we set it to it use the lowercase, and with that, we use the uppercase. Um, and that's kind of the basic idea uh, behind this type code. You'll, probably, you'll actually see this or variations of this a lot when you do coding. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, it should be very easy with reference agenda. Well, actually, that's actually pretty tight too, so I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, so maybe I should have to <laughs> think about this. But uh, <laughs> I mean that's very tight. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, cool. I mean, I but in terms of complexity, it's just two to the n. Uh, I mean, there's some constant optimization that we've talked about, and that uh, and Brax made, for example. Uh, and space is all of also two to the n, which is technically output sensitive. Uh, depending on how you want to define it. And output sensitive is a cool term, so I like saying it. But uh, but it's technically all up to the end, which is, you know, as fast as you can make it. Um, and even though I have a worse constant because I put things in a set and then I convert it to a list. But uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, this is... Definitely practice this. I think uh, this is actually a good... Uh, this actually is a good practice problem if you're a little... Uh, if you're a beginner, I think, actually, because then you could practice this... Um, you know, do it multiple ways. One, uh, maybe not this way, but but definitely uh, implement it with a queue, uh, implement it with, you know, recursion, uh, with, you know, with a stack and so forth. Uh, and definitely, and it's just good practice. And this is a very basic problem to, so that you can practice those things. Uh, so I definitely recommend this problem for that, those reasons. Um, I don't think it's, like, I've, yeah, I mean, and for, for that reason, it's a good uh, problem to practice. Uh, I don't know if you would get this explicitly, but I've definitely, and you'll probably see a lot of recursion type problems uh, and depth research type problems anyway. So, uh, so and this is all, I wouldn't say a prereq, but like this is a subset in difficulty of those problems. So, uh, so I would recommend it. Um, yeah. <laughs>